if you're new here, my name is Kaylin. I am a second year PhD student in history and African American studies, developing research on legal history in the British Atlantic world in the 17th century. And today is my first day at the law school. So I have what I'm calling two first days. So today is my first day at the law school, and then next week is my first day officially. So I have a class that is being taught at the law school on American legal history that I'll be taking today and it is on the law school's time. It is actually being taught at the law school by one of the law professors and if you've been following me for a while you know that I have been seriously considering going to law school for six years now, almost seven, and I have basically pushed back the timeline every time just because I wanted to focus on my research, I wanted to focus on getting into a PhD program and all of those things and ultimately decided that perhaps I would not go to law school or that I would push it off. So I'm using this semester as my test run to see if law school is the right pick for my long-term goals and trajectory. So I am not technically a 1L or 2L student. I am a graduate student, but I do take legal history courses because it plays into my research. So I'm going to take you guys along for our first day of school. I'm really excited to be back on campus. This is my first time being in a classroom since March 2020. So it's been a long time coming and I can't wait to share it all with you. But before we get started in this video, I wanted to show you guys some of the pieces that I am wearing jewelry wise today from Ana Luisa. I've been working with Ana Luisa for a couple months now and I absolutely am obsessed with their jewelry. I wear it in every single video because I always have on this bracelet and I just got this new one. It has this intertwined design and it is so petite, dainty, beautiful. I love gold jewelry in particular. I just like the way it looks with my skin. And I like the way that it looks all together with the types of outfits that I tend to pair. So I really love these pieces. So these are the ones that I wear every single day. I got this in the mail the other day and have been wearing it ever since. And I don't take them off. I wear them in the shower. I wear them working out. I have never had an issue. They stay on and they don't leave any residue or anything. They're just so incredibly beautiful. This one has a little gem in the center and I'm obsessed with it. I haven't taken it off since the day I got it. So that's just a testament to how much I'm obsessed with their jewelry. Additionally, I have on this Chloe ring. It's this braided gold ring. I have had this one on since I got it. I do not take it off in the shower. I have left it on ever since and I love it. I just really love how simple and dainty all of their pieces are. And a new addition to my collection is my necklace. It is this beautiful little teardrop design and I thought it paired so beautifully with my little flower pendant that I wear, I swear to God, in every video. It's so beautiful. It's on this gold chain and it's this little teardrop shape and it's just so dainty and so perfect. I love it so much. I am just obsessed with my outfit today. I feel like this is pretty much peak Kaylin style. I've got on a button down shirt, jeans, and then I love pairing it with just some really dainty and very understated jewelry. The best thing about Ana Luisa is one, the price point, two, their commitment to sustainability, and three, that they have new pieces that come in every single week. So there is a wide selection for any type of style. And I personally just really love that they're very feminine. They're very light in terms of they're not overpowering. You don't just immediately go to seeing the jewelry and seeing it as something that's like a little overpowering for the outfit. And I just love them. And I'm so excited to be working with them again. Thank you so much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. So go ahead and check out all the different pieces that they have to offer. And let's go ahead and get this day started. All right, so first thing on the agenda is to actually work in my agenda. So I use the Golden Coil Planner. And this is a customizable planner that you get from Golden Coil. And I have the Daily Spread, which has morning, afternoon, and evening and then it's got the to-do list and priorities and everything in between so I'm gonna go ahead and make up my plan for the day and then get started I need to film a video I have consultations with clients I have reading that I need to do for my law class today and then we're gonna head to class so it's gonna be a busy one but I'm excited to take you guys along and I cannot wait to be back on campus <laughs> documents for the day 
And now I am looking at some syllabi for other classes that I'll be starting to take next week. I found this course on race, gender, and AI, which I am absolutely fascinated by. Of course, I really hope that it counts for my literature requirement. We'll see. There's literature as in like there's novels on the reading list. So I'm hoping <laughs> that the DGS will let it count. I really hope so because I really want to take this course. All the syllabi have been posted so I'm going into Notion and just making sure that it's all updated in there for the upcoming school year. I need to get a little bit of reading done but all my responsibilities for the morning are pretty much set. I have some client meetings but other than that I am set to go. Good productive morning. I am going to go ahead and dive in and get this day started because I really want to get on campus. <laughs> It is now time to head out. I am going to actually go grab lunch with a classmate and then go to the library, study for a little while, and then head to class. So I have on this Everlane button down shirt. As I showed you earlier, the most beautiful Ana Luisa necklaces. I've got the teardrop one and then the little flower pendant. I've got on a watch and my other Ana Luisa bracelet, Ana Luisa bracelet ring. Madewell jeans, Sperry loafers, you know, the typical fit. I feel like this is just so my style. This is very, a very Kaylin looking outfit. So I'm gonna go head over to Claire's, have lunch with Fasayo, and then head on over to the library. Wu, on the other hand, will be here and she will be upset because now we're heading back to campus, which means I don't get to spend all day with her at home. Look how freaking cute she is. All right, the time has come. I am heading off to grab lunch with Asayo and then head to the library in order to go to class. filming on campus but I just wanted to check in it went really well I'll give you more of an update when I get home but it feels so good to be back in the classroom and I have so many ideas but I have a lot of work to do all right now I'm back home Moo's very happy to see me huh I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about my experience so I was the only History PhD that's just a history PhD. There were two other JD PhDs that were in the room who I've actually had in classes with me before. I have to say, walking in and sitting down in that room, I had the biggest wave of imposter syndrome I have felt in a long time. Every single person that walked in, I didn't know. I knew there were law students, there were definitely like two or three L's. I felt so ridiculously out of place. And even though I study history and legal history, 
I just felt so out of my depth. The course is absolutely freaking fascinating. I am so excited for it, the way it's structured and the different discussions. We're going to be talking about everything from the original constitutional debates, debates regarding the law of slavery, the law of emancipation, reconstruction, mass incarceration, civil liberties union, all of those things. And I'm so freaking excited. But I also feel like a child sitting in a room with a bunch of adults. And I know that I am older, if not the same age as most of the people in the room, and that they have one or two years of law school on me, but I just felt so out of my depth. I just felt so nervous. My arm, like my hand was shaking the entire lecture. Like all of those nerves and all of those things like just didn't really have a place to go last year. And being able to like walk on campus and kind of get the academic atmosphere and be sitting in a lecture hall and listening to the professor speak, I felt so much more at home than I have in a long time. However, I was still very nervous and it will get better. I am going to be doing a ton of the readings this evening. I feel very good about the class. I think it's absolutely the right class for me to be taking. However, I am very nervous about how it's gonna go. So I, have class on Thursday and then I'm going to try to go to the office hours with the professor on Monday so that way I can talk a little bit about the paper because there is an optional either paper or exam and I will be opting to do the paper because I hate exams and also I think that I can use this as a research opportunity. I have some research paper ideas and I'm gonna get to it. I went to the library, picked up a ton of books for my anthropology class that'll start next week. So overall, very good, productive day. I am exhausted, but it's just been such an amazing day. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of a decompression, a little bit of a breather, have some food, and then I will get back to work and get some studying done this evening. So that way I can prepare for Thursday's class. So very good first day. I will check in with you guys in a couple hours. All right, change of plans. I'm here with Sarah. Hello. And we're gonna go to Pacifico and grab a drink and an appetizer because we both need a snack after a nice long day. She had yes. orientation for public health and I am desperately in need of food and a beverage. And we need an adult beverage. Agreed. <laughs> little study session now we are heading home it is almost 10 p.m. we stayed until the library closed and now it's time to go back take a shower and go to bed it has been a good long day we go ahead and end off the vlog here thank you all so much for watching 
Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone.